Klansman gang trial, police witness testify how AK-47 rifle was seized a defendant furniture shop. A seen a policeman this afternoon testify that a cop had found an AK-47 rifle hidden in a stack of board at a furniture shop operated by a relative of the reputed leader of the Wandan gang, Andre Blackman Bryan. The home circuit court also heard that a magazine with 10 7.62mm rounds was also found during the search in Jones Avenue in Spanish Town in St. Catherine. The police inspector who was testifying at the Klansman Wandan gang trial said he was a part of a police team that went to Jonestown to arrest defendant Jarrell Taylor, who is Brian's cousin. According to the officer, the weapon and ammunition were found during a search of the shop that was operated by Taylor. The court was told that the shop is located a short distance away from Taylor's house. The policeman recalled that the gun was found when cops had moved a stack of board from one side of the top to another section. It was vertical within the stack of boards. He recollected. And seeing the weapon, the inspector said, he said to Taylor, What that I do this? Sir? And he said, Taylor replied, saying, Me no know nothing about that officer. According to the police inspector, the gun was made of metal and board, and the serial number was not visible. Prior to the search of the furniture shop, the court also heard that Taylor House was searched and five cell phones, several SIM cards, and 265,000 were also found. The court heard that a civilian who was at the house was detained along with Taylor. The weapon and ammunition the officer testified were packaged in an evidence box and bags and labelled after the scene was processed by a forensic scene of crime officer and transported it to his office for storage. He said it was later retrieved and taken to the government forensic lab for a ballistic testing. He however recalled that the crime scene forensic officer did not detect any visible prints when checks were made. Both the weapon and the ballistic certificate were admitted as exhibits. Clansman Yang Chayal, Chief Justice see clarity and the term person of interest. Presiding judge in the Clansman Yang Chayal, Chief Justice Brian Sykes on Tuesday demanded that a police witness explain the term person of interest. The Chief Justice made the demand of the prosecution 16 witness, a detective inspector attached to the, con to the Constable Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch who was facing his examination in chief. The witness was detailing an incident where the police detained men they considered person of interest including the accused, Jazeel Blake. The witness explained the term was one of reference base and police intelligence. But Chief Justice Brian Sykes asked if the police often arrest people they consider person of interest without information. The witness explained that the police were interested in the men based on an anti-gang investigation being pursued. The witness say he knew Blake, also called Squeezy, before he was detained as a person of interest at that time. According to the witness, he had previously been assigned to the St. Catherine North Police. Another reason to interact with Squeezy on more than one occasion. The Clansman Gang trial resumed at 10 this morning. <laughs>